Welcome to the Stronger. Question for you, are you feeling alive today? If you're not, I might have a little bit of a suspicion of one of the things that might be robbing you today. As a Christian, we know we're to live in the joy of the Lord. We know that, that we choose life and it's a joyful life. In fact, Jesus said this. He said, I have come that you might have life and have it to the fullest in John 10, 10. He's saying, I'm, I've come so that your life isn't reduced, but it gets, it's going to live it to the fullest extent, which is something that often I don't know if we quite grab. Here's why. Because we tend to live in condemnation that doesn't exist anymore. You see, condemnation has been done away with for those that have received Jesus Christ. All of your sins, past, present, future, uh, you know, the worst, the ugliest, all of it is absolutely received more than enough mercy and grace to wash the slate clean. And God doesn't hold you to task anymore. He doesn't condemn you. In fact, I'll say this to you very directly. He is not angry with you. God is not angry with you. And the reason he's not angry with you is because all of that anger was poured out on his son for your sins. And so I want to encourage you to live more fully and understand that in Christ, you have no condemnation. In fact, look at the scripture in uh, Romans chapter 8 and verse 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to those that are in Christ Jesus. Now, that's quite a phenomenal thing. He's saying, look at the word, the key thing is in Christ Jesus. If you have received Christ, you're in Christ. Bottom line. So he's saying, if you're there and that's your position, there's no condemnation for you. I, he couldn't really put it more clear, could he? But so often we live in that because our mind can kind of figure out, yes, he's given me mercy. Yes, he's forgiven me. But our emotions have a hard time really with grace, hard time accepting, hard time really receiving that because we somehow feel that there should be an anger, that there should be this retribution. We don't understand Christ really did take all that. You're free from that. Your father in heaven is fully engaged in a relationship with you without restraint of your own sins. Because of the work of Jesus Christ, he now considers you his son or daughter. Now, here's a great little scripture, too. It's found in John 3, 17, 18, right after the most famous scripture. And it says this, for God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Through Jesus. Whoever believes in him is not condemned. So condemnation is erased. You are not condemned. But we tend to live as condemned people. We tend to be people that actually seem to embrace condemnation. I don't know why that is totally, but it has to do with our nature of justice, that even when we deserve justice, but that was exacted on Jesus. And you have now been made at peace with God. You say, but I still sin. You're at peace with God. He's not at war with you over your sin. That was paid for. That sin was put on Jesus. So what is the relationship like right now? He wants you to live life to the fullest. And you will get stronger the more that you embrace grace. Because it frees you to live more fully. It's kind of funny, but sin is strengthened by law. If I say to somebody, don't touch that, immediately, it, something in them is, I'll do it. When it comes instead to grace, it's something relational. When I speak relationally with the very same person, and, and we have no war between us, we're stronger to influence each other. And God is stronger influencing your life through grace. So I want to encourage you uh, not to live in condemnation. Emotionally, positionally, you have no condemnation. Why would you put this on yourself and keep yourself from living the fullest life that God has designed for you to live? So choose life. God bless.